Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Muhammad and Sharifi Yaseen. <laughs> Oh, 
وجينا وجينا جبنا العريس وجينا جينا وجينا وجينا جبنا العريس وجينا يا امو زادتي لو هلت فرح علينا On behalf of the two families, I want to thank everyone for coming today, especially those from out of town. A special thank you to the Yassin and Al Qadri family for all their help today. All those who came from Calgary, Vermilion, Gold Lakers, Black Labish, Vancouver, Ontario, and England. A special thank you for ARCA for hosting us today and providing the catering services. OM Storytelling for capturing this beautiful moment. Majestic Weddings for decorating the hall. DJ Johnny for music and audio. Give it for DJ Johnny. <laughs> Paradiso Pastries for dessert. And last but not least, Afrah and Maj Instrumentals. Shifi would like to personally thank Nash'at and Abir Asfur for going above and beyond always and being there for her while her parents were away. <laughs> On behalf of Ahmed Yassin, Muhammad's father, I would like to thank everyone for coming out tonight and helping us celebrate tonight's event. Without all of you, this day would not feel as special as it is. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله إخواني أخواتي أنا سعيد جدا بأن أكون معكم في هذه في هذا اللقاء المبارك في هذا الزواج المبارك الذي أسأله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعله زواجا مباركا وميمونا وأن يبارك للعروسين وأن يبارك عليهما وأن يجمع بينهما في خير يعني كلمة بسيطة أنصح بها نفسي وأنصح بها الزوجين كما نصحنا بها رب العزة جل وعلا حينما قال ومن آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا إليها وجعل بينكم مودة ورحمة إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يتفكرون فالله عز وجل جعل هذه الرابطة الطيبة بين العروسين جعلها من آيات الله 
من آيات الله يعني أن تشكر الله عز وجل على هذه الآية أن جعلها من آيات الله فأن تكون فأن يكون الزواج آية من آيات الله أي أنه عبادة من العبادات التي تؤدى لله عز وجل ومن آياته أن جعل لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا لذلك كان الزواج سكنا وكان مودة وكان رحمة فأسأل الله رب العرش العظيم أن يجعل هذا الزواج بين العروسين سكنا وما معنى السكن؟ معنى السكن الاستقرار معنى السكن أن يجد الإنسان فيه السكون وفيه الهدوء ومعنى المودة أن يجد فيه المحبة هذه المحبة الدائمة المودة ليس حبا منقطعا بل المودة هي حبا دائما ومتصلا وهناك الرحمة إذا حصل أي هناك خلل أي خطأ من قبل الزوج أو الزوجة فتأتي الرحمة لتعالج هذا الموضوع لا يفرك مؤمن مؤمنة إذا كره منها خلقا رضي منها آخر ولا تفرك مؤمنة مؤمن فإن كرهت منه خلق خلقا رضيت منه آخر فتبقى هذه العلاقة الزوجية علاقة قائمة على المحبة وعلى المودة وعلى السكن كما أسأله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعل هذا الزواج مباركا ويبعد عن الزوجين أي أذى وضر إنه سميع مجيب One of the reasons that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this zawaj as a blessed one because one of his sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us created us to live male and female in tranquility in love and understanding and mercy. So the marriage, the reason that we get married is to have this family and with this family we found tranquility. We found love, we found, we found understanding. And without that, without that, we cannot really live with each other. So we found in the end of the day, the marriage itself is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we understand it in this way, then the marriage itself will turn into ibadah. So uh, our beloved uh, groom and brides, both of them now establishing a ibadah process of ibadah because worship in Islam it is not only prayer it is not only fast even when we get married that we establishing ibadah to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through this relationship through this relationship the relationship that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless to bring out of it family and this family it will be inshallah in the under the shadow of Islam and under the uh, under the understanding of the both a groom and a bride. So we'll establish this wonderful family, insha'Allah. Allahumma ja'al haza zawaja zawaja mubarakan wa maymunan. Allahumma barik lahuma wa barik alayhima wa ajma' baynahuma bi khair. Allahumma asrif anhuma al-dhur. Allahumma asrif anhuma al-adha. Wa ja'al hayatahuma sa'idatan mutma'inna. Ija'al hayatahuma sa'idatan mutma'inna. Birahmatika ya arhamar rahimin. Allahumma wahab lahuma zurriyatan tayyiba. Wahab lahuma zurriyatan tayyiba. Innaka sami'un mujib. Ameen, ameen. Wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Special Congratulation to the Bose family, Yasin and Al Qadri, which is Bose family, mashallah, noble families. And from this from this marriage, inshallah, we're gonna have a beautiful family and beautiful partners. Shall may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and bless your marriage. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Jamal, for those words of wisdom. May Allah reward you for that grateful reminder. I would now like to call up Muhammad's dad, Ahmad Yasin, to say a few words. Assalamu alaikum. الشيخ حكى كل شيء كنت أنا بدي أحكي ما عاش في شيء عندي أحكي شكرا يا شيخنا وأهلا وسهلا فيك في أدمنتن ومعرفتنا فيك قديمة وإن شاء الله يا رب بطول المعرفة محمد ابني ألف مبروك إلك الله يجيب لك الأيام الحلوة والأيام السعيدة يا رب بس خلقت كنت يا محمد أغني لك أنت طبعا كنت طفل صغير ما بتعرف كنت أقول وين تزفك يا محمد وين وين أزفك يا محمد وين الله أعطاني العمر وشفتك هلا عريس وزفناك الله يوفقك يا با الله يخليك الله إن شاء الله يجيك حظ جيد وتعيش حياة مليئة بالازدهار والسعادة بالنيابة عن بيت ياسين جميعا من هون وبلبنان وبفلسطين وبالعالم أهلا وسهلا بالجميع أهلا وسهلا بالكل أهلا وسهلا بأصحابنا وأحبابنا 
اهلا وسهلا بنسيبنا الحبيب الحاج محي الدين الدهيبي وعائلته واهلا وسهلا بصديقنا الحبيب حسين صالح وكل من اجى من خارج المدينه ومن خارج البرتا انا ما بعرف احكي كثير بس ان شاء الله اللي بدي يحكوا بعدي يكفوا ويوفوا شكرا جزيلا والله يديم الافراح بدياركم وان شاء الله بتنبسطوا العريس والعروس واولادكم انبسطوا وانبسطوا وانبسطوا وارقصوا وافرحوا لهم واتمنوا لهم الخير الله يوفقكم يابا بارك الله احمد ماي الله شاور يور فلامي فاميلي وذ هيز بليسنجز اي وود ناو لايك تو كول اب محمد براذر كمال تو شير سم marriage wisdom with his older brother. Assalamu alaikum. I'm uh, Muhammad's younger brother, who for some reason looks 10 years older than him. I don't know how that happened. It is what it is. So at my wedding, Muhammad made a speech and told some really funny stories about me. So I'd like to start by thanking Muhammad and Sharifi for giving me this opportunity. I've been waiting for payback for four years. Now you have to sit there and listen to me tell some embarrassing stories about you. Buckle up. Anyone who knows my brother knows that he's a pretty decent lawyer. This is because he's very persuasive. He was like this since he was a little boy. I'll give you an example. One day, when we were really small, my, my mom took us out to the park. She put us in the car right in front of the garage. And at the time, me, Mohammed was about three years old and I was about one year old. So after buckling me into the car seat, she ran back inside to get something. And at this point, Mohammed decided that he was old enough to drive to the park but all by himself. He started the car, put it in drive, and crashed it right into the garage. My mom quickly ran out of the house, but not before Muhammad crafted an elaborate story about what happened. Even at three years old, he was so persuasive that he convinced my mom that I had unbuckled myself from the car seat. I waddled over to the keys, started the ignition, then put the car in drive and drove it into the garage. All the while, he was begging me not to do it. He's been a bad driver ever since. <laughs> so since he was little, Muhammad could talk his way out of it, almost any situation. Almost any situation. There are a couple of times that he couldn't, and I'll give you an example. But first, I need to give you some background for that example. Muhammad used to walk around the house in his underwear. But that when my mom wasn't home. Maybe he was establishing his dominance to his brothers. I don't know what the deal was with that. And he also used to play this game where he would sneak up on Ramzi and he would jump and try to scare him and he'd scream really loud, like at the top of his lungs. He, Muhammad thought this was hilarious. No one else really thought it was funny. So one time, Muhammad was doing his usual patrols in his underwear around the house. And he heard Ramzi talking to himself in the room. Ramzi used to talk to himself when he was studying, just so that would help him. So Muhammad thought this is the perfect time for the underwear bandit to strike. He, he tiptoed up to the dining room, jumped in, and screamed at the top of his lungs like he usually does. But this time was different. Ramzi wasn't thinking out loud. He was sitting there with his math tutor. So there was Muhammad in his underwear, jumping into the dining room and screaming like a crazy person at this terrified math tutor. Ramzi was wide-eyed and shaking his head with a look on his face like, what did you just do? So for one of a few times in his life, Muhammad couldn't talk himself out of a bad situation. He was literally caught with his pants down. So what did he do? He ran out of the room without saying anything. Ramzi's math tutor never came back after that. So just a bit of advice to my new sister-in-law. If anyone ever is ever coming over, tell Muhammad ahead of time.
Now, Muhammad asked that I say some nice things about him. So here it goes. Just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, Muhammad is our Kabir al -Ayri. He's the star of our family. He set the standard for the rest of us. At the same time, he's been our glue. No matter what happened, through thick and thin, he made sure that his family and friends stuck together. Uh, we love you, brother. I want to thank my mom for raising us to believe in ourselves, to cherish the relationships that we have, and to appreciate the good things in life. And I want to thank my dad for teaching us the value of hard work, to be proud of who we were, and to never let anyone tell us we can't do anything. Muhammad is who he is because of you. I also want to thank Sharifi's family for raising such a wonderful daughter. I'm Hussain, and I'm the he am. You're truly the most welcoming and generous people I've met, aside from my in-laws, of course. <laughs> we're, so un we're so happy that we now have this connection with you. We're thankful to you for sharing your treasure with us. Sharifi, I can't imagine anyone better for my brother than you. After Muhammad introduced you to us, Janine and I looked at each other and Janine said, at tanjara la al -ghata. The pot found its lid. <laughs> Inshallah, you and Muhammad have a long and happy life together. Thank you to all of our family and friends for being here with us to share in Muhammad and Sharifi's farha. We're so lucky to be surrounded by you all. Let's have a good time. That's it for me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now I'd like to call up Shifi's sister Fudda and her friend Aminata to give some not so marriage advice. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Fudda and as you know, I'm the bride's sister. Shifi, I just wanted to take this time to thank you for all your love and support. You've set such a great example for me as a sister on how to take care of myself and be my own person. The way I see you own and love yourself has helped me do the same. <laughs> I, I truly mean it when I say you're the best sister anyone could ever ask for. <laughs> I'm so happy you found such an amazing guy like Muhammad. Not only does he know all the best restaurants in Edmonton and St. Albert, but he also owns the most stylish socks. Remember those Batman ones you pulled up to our house in? <laughs> I'm so excited to have you as a part of our family and can't wait until you start a beautiful family of your own and obviously name the firstborn Fadda. You two deserve the best, which is why you found each other. I love you both, and inshallah, Allah blesses you with a happy and healthy marriage. Good evening, everyone. My name is Amanada. I'm one of Sharifi's closest friends from school. I'd like to share a few words to this lovely couple. Sharifi, you really shocked us all, but in a good way, because look how far you've come. I swear from the last time I remember your focus was no boys, focus on school, work and eventually become that rich aunt that's always spoiling the kids. And now you're married. I remember when it all happened. Shout out to your cousin Sharifi and her husband for making the hookup. <laughs> but you were so sure Muhammad was the one and now we can all see why you chose him. Muhammad, I know you're gonna love her and take good care of her. She has continuously spoken so highly of you. I wish you both, Mr. and Mrs. Yassine, all the best on this wonderful journey as you build your new lives together. God bless you. Thank you. I was going to make a short joke about Fudda when she stepped off, but I can't do it anymore because she broke my heart. <laughs> Thanks, girls, for those words of beauty. Lastly, I would like to call up Suleiman Kadri to recite a poem. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. أرادني والد العروس العم أبو هشام أن أقول شعرا قد كتبه صديقه مروان محمد الخطيب فقال في شعره في مواسم الفرح تستغرق قلوبنا في صعود نوراني وتسبح أحلامنا في مراق الأمال ونطير أسراب سنونوات تغني للأخضر والبنفسج والتليب في مواسم الفرح 
تستفق أجنحتنا في تجل يصاعد فيه عريسنا محمد طائرا يسمو بعروسه شريفة كأنهما العقاب طائرا في فضاءات الفيروز والبيلسان وفي الأمداء معهما يصفق هشام وحمزة والنبيلة فضة وآفاق مزدانة بفحوى حروف وآفاق مزدانة بفحوى حروف وآفاق مزدانة بفحوى حروف تنساب نورا ووردا من جنا حسين وهيام وتتربع في معارج الانسراح والانشراح باقات من قرنفل تعلو صدور آل ياسين ويرفعون مثلها إلى آل القادري وفي مواسم الفرح نقرأ في أسفار الأرجوان نشيدا للنخيل والجل ناري وزهرة اللوز ونغني من كتاب السرور كلمات ترصع حروفها من العقيق والجاد والكهرمان ونتوق ونسعى دوما لأن نكون من عباد الله القائمين في محاريب الحمد والشوق المحلف المحلق في أجواء السدرة والجنان عروسنا شريفة عريسنا محمد وتاجنا حسيننا وفرحنا مخلد هشامنا وحمزة وفضة وعسجد ونبضنا محلق نداؤه مزغرد وأمنا هيامنا كتابنا والفرقد ياسيننا والقادري جناننا والمنجد ويومنا كأمسنا جوزاء خير نصعد نشيدنا دوما يقول ربنا الأوحد وعرسنا غيماتنا أوراد حب مسجد بارك الله لكما وبارك عليكما وجمع بينكما في خير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Okay, so now it's my turn to take a few moments to help Muhammad and Shrifi help understand each other a little bit better. There's no easy way to put this, Muhammad. Shrifi has OCD. If at any point in time she tells you to clean something, Manchan, Allah, just clean it. She's either going to break out crying or be the ta'amik atli. Once in Lethbridge, she told me to wipe down a table before I headed to class. I told her no. All hell broke loose that day. She wanted to tear my arms off and wipe that table herself. <laughs> Shifi is used to being treated like a princess. She has to be flawless all the time. Anytime she messes up, she likes to blame others for her imperfection. Now that you guys are married, it's no longer going to be me, Muhammad, and it's going to be you. For example, once she destroyed the back end of the escape by hitting a hockey net. She had my parents convinced that I specifically pay, placed that hockey net behind the escape so she can run it over and destroy her car. Shifi, Muhammad li likes to think that he knows everything about anything. And he will throw a bunch of facts at you to try and convince you that he is right, but he is not always right. For example, when Muhammad explains a roller coaster ride in China, he explains that Chinese people are gen uh, genetically smaller than your average Joe. Therefore, those roller coaster rides are for smaller people and not your regular Joe. When his friend Khalil tells it, it's Muhammad was so big at one point in his life that bar wouldn't close on his chest and he was kicked off that roller coaster ride. We can't forget to shout out Muhammad's high school gang, Raw. Real Arab warriors. <laughs> All jokes aside, after the year I got to know Muhammad, we became such close friends. I could consider him my older brother. Basar Mjil Bayi. Just kidding, Muhammad. As long as you do better at marriage than you did at drafting your hockey team, I think you'll be fine. Honestly, Muhammad is the most kind and compassionate person I've ever met in my life. 
he always goes above and beyond to make sure everyone is happy around him. Shifi always said, like her friend Amina just told you, she, she was never going to get married. She was going to establish her career. She was going to set many goals before she did. This should speak on how amazing Muhammad's character is because it was so easy for him to sweep her off her feet. Muhammad Shifi is my dad's diamonds and pearls. She's always been his favorite child and we all know that. I know without a doubt you're going to be able to carry on her father's love for her. Shifi is such a hard-working individual that has made our family so proud. She's always helping others achieve their goals. Shifi is always going out of her way to make sure our family is happy and satisfied. I could not have asked for a better little sister and I love her so much. Our parents, Hiam and Hassan, have worked so hard to install true values in her and have helped her to develop such a great personality. They taught her how to love unconditionally. And on behalf of my parents, we couldn't have asked for a better person to take their daughter's hand and help them achieve her goals. Also on their behalf, I want to thank everyone for coming out today. We really appreciate your efforts in making this day a day of joy. As Bilal Amul Muhammad once said, as al I'm going to try and butcher this with, you know, without, you know, making some Arabic mistakes. Is it nain jawzu ba'dun? Is a okay? I got it. Is it nain andun bottle deepo jawzu ladun shub jibo? Anani. I would like to conclude my speech by saying a special mabruk from Jiddi and Siti, Ami Yusuf, Amti Alia, who couldn't be with us here today. Once again, I would like to thank and wish the bride and groom a blessed marriage, inshallah. As our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us, Barakallahu lakuma wa baraka alaykuma wa jam'a baynakum fi khair. May Allah bless you and shower his blessings upon you both and unite you both in goodness. Ameen. She was something to behold
Bring me a heart 